Hello children. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then at each point of intersection, four angles are formed. Here, L and M are two parallel lines and line N is the transversal. So let's denote all the angles. At point O, the four angles are 1, 2, 3, 4. Same way, four angles are formed at point P where transversal N intersects with the line M. Let's denote them as angle 5, 6, 7 and 8. Out of this 8 angles, can you find the alternate angles? For this, firstly we need to know what are interior and exterior angles. If you see, the area between the parallel lines is the interior of parallel lines and outside it consists of exterior area. Now, what can we say about angles 1, 2, 7 and 8? All of these angles lie in the exterior area. So, angle 1, 2, 7 and 8 are exterior angles. Now the other four angles that is angle 3, 4, 5 and 6 are in the interior of the two parallel lines and we can easily say these are interior angles. Let's see angle 4 and 5. Clearly they are interior angles. They lie on the opposite sides of the transversal N. Angle 4 on the right side of the transversal and angle 5 on the left hand side of the transversal. Such angles that lie on opposite or alternate sides of the transversal are called alternate angles. And if you see these are interior angles. So we can say these are a pair of interior alternate angles. Angle 3 and angle 6. These are interior angles. They lie on the opposite sides of the transversal. Right? Angle 3 and angle 6 are a pair of interior alternate angles. Like interior alternate angles, there are exterior alternate angles too. For example, here angle 2 and angle 7. Clearly they are exterior angles. They lie on the opposite sides of the transversal N. So these two angles lie on the alternate side of the transversal. So we can say these are a pair of exterior alternate angles. Angle 1 and angle 8. These two are exterior angles and also they lie on the opposite sides of the transversal. Right? So we say angle 1 and angle 8 are alternate angles and exterior 2. Now you may think why 3 and 4 are not a pair of interior alternate angles? Yes, they are interior angles and they also lie on the opposite sides of the transversal. Then why can't we say that they form a pair of interior alternate angles? Well, if you see, they are adjacent angles as both of these have a common arm. So, angle 3 and angle 4 cannot be alternate angles even if they lie on the opposite side of transversal. Remember, alternate angles are always non-adjacent angles. How to identify interior alternate angles? Well, if you see, alternate angles form a Z shape. And so, sometimes they are called Z angles. The other pair of interior alternate angles also forms a Z shape but in opposite direction. So now you know what are alternate angles. 
but you should also remember that alternate angles are equal angle 3 is equal to angle 6 and angle 4 is equal to angle 5 now coming to exterior angles angle 1 is equal to angle 8 and angle 2 is equal to angle 7 so there are four pairs of alternate angles and of these two pairs consist of interior angles and two pair consist of exterior angles so when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal then the alternate angles are equal